Hey YouTube, this is Practice Prepper, and today I wanted to talk about uh, something that I don't really hear spoken about much on, on these sort of uh, videos, uh, you know, in the Prepper community, and um, that that's uh, contemplating um, what life is like after you don't have any anymore, um, if you were to die. Um, I was, uh, the other day I got kind of a splitting headache, and that uh, I was driving a lot, and that happens to me sometimes, and um, Usually it's not a big deal. It's just at the end of the day, I've got a splitting headache. I go to sleep. The next morning, I wake up and I'm fine. Um, but I was thinking, like during like crazy SHTF situations and stuff like that, you know, you don't have that guaranteed awesome night's sleep at the end of the day. Um, and it, it just got me thinking, like you know, um, an awful lot of the preps and things that I do are really centered on me personally, um, being functional and like and like active and energetic and everything and it just got me thinking about that and I, I think a lot of people's mentality uh, and there's this the phrase that goes around like the, the lone wolf thing the person that survives on their own and everything which I th think is a silly idea because people survive in communities not on their own um, they get banished and exiled on their own and that's a punishment usually meant to kill that person at least you know way back when um, exile was kind of like killing killing somebody um, except you didn't get your hands dirty uh, but anyway um, where was I going with that? Um, anyway, I, we, you know, people survive in a, in a community, but I think a lot of people, when they do their preps, they see it as more of, again, it all centers around them. And I, and I, I realize that I'm really no different. Um, uh, all, all the stuff that I do, um, uh, you know, the, the rest of my family, they don't think I'm nuts or anything. I mean, they recognize that, you know, things can happen. And it's good to, you know, be prepared. And it just it gives you peace of mind and everything. I do it because it's fun. It's a hobby. You know, I, I, I enjoy, you know, self-sufficiency and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of it I do for sort of like eco-green reasons too. You know, uh, saving my rainwater and, and all that. So so I come at it from that angle also. Um, but, but I'm the one that gets jazzed up about it. Uh, you know, I'm the one that does all the things. I, I know the way all the systems work. I, I wired up the solar electric system. I did all the plumbing, uh, for better or worse, on my rain barrels back there. It's better now. See that video? I fixed that. Fix that shit. Um, so, uh, but it, 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 it's all about me, really. You know, I, I put this stuff together. I know how to work all this stuff. And if I get incapacitated, like, is any of this junk good for any of the people that I'm kind of trying to protect and, and keep safe also? And I think the answer really at this point kind of is no, not at all, because you have to be able to, to operate any of it or know what any of it does. And it, uh, to demonstrate this, I have Amber <laughs> right here. And she's a little bit, she's a little bit shy, but, um, oh, come on, that's overkill. I, I have a little I'm list, sorry. I have a list of some of the systems that I, I've got going here. And I'm, yeah, just, but it, it, and this isn't like designed that, like, there's all stuff she doesn't know about. You know, some of this you might. Um, do you know how at all to run the solar power system? No. You know how to turn the inverter on? Yes. Do you do any wiring beyond that? Do you know how to refill the batteries? Do you know no. that the batteries occasionally need to be refilled with distilled water? Okay, <laughs> so that's something. If I was... If I was down and I was unavailable, the solar electric thing is going to fall apart. Water purifier. We have an awesome water purifier. Where is it? Where do I keep it? I don't know. Yeah, okay. Um, let's say you couldn't find that, I, but I, you wanted to make your own uh, water purifier. I have a bunch of activated carbon that I bought during non-SHTF times because uh, it's plentiful. Not super cheap, but plentiful. Uh, would you know where to find the activated carbon so you can make your own water filtration system? It's probably somewhere in the pantry. I have no nope, idea where. No, it's not in the pantry at all. <laughs> it's actually up in the attic. Okay. Um, N95 masks. I'm out of commission. There's a cloud of, I don't know, something, volcanic ash coming. And you just want a simple N95 mask. Where are they? They're all over the place. I thought there was one there at some point. No, I moved them. They were there oh. at one point, but I moved them. Okay. Yeah. So, again, and I'll go through this. Uh, handguns. You know where the handguns are? I think so. I think so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you, you know where they are. What about all the other rifles and all the extra ammunition? Mm, is it in the well, don't say it. Don't say it out loud. Huh? I'm sorry. 
<laughs> it's supposed to be secret. I'm so uh, sorry. Okay, where do I keep seeds? Last one. Where do I keep seeds? You know, it's been a horrible nuclear winter and we want to replant in the garden. Where are all the seeds? Uh, and which ones do you plant? I, I don't know. Yeah, see what I mean? <laughs> so, I mean, if you... Okay, get out of here. You're awkward. Oh. No, I mean, you're, you're nervous. <laughs> I meant to say nervous, not awkward. Um, so you see what I mean. Uh, I'm derelict in my duty of spreading this knowledge to other people. It's completely useless. All this shit that I've done, it's completely useless if I'm out of, out of commission. And, you know, we, we, I think a lot of us envision, like, these disaster scenarios through, like, movies and popular films. And, you know, it's kind of hard not to, since we're, like, just steeped in it. And, you know, I, I know there's, like, shows like The Walking Dead, and it's like, oh my god, they killed off a main character. Um, but, you know, the majority of the time, the main characters survive. And I, I think we all think of ourselves as being the main character in our own story, and we're the good guys. And it's kind of hard to imagine things happening where you actually die, and then other people need to move on, because I think we all envision our own story as being that kind of Hollywood thing, where it's like, you know, it'll be rough, it'll be awful, you know, but you'll get through it somehow. But, you know, that's not reality, you know. A lot of times people don't get through it somehow. And I think that a lot of us, if we're anything like me, uh, you know, are not passing on uh, uh, enough of the nuts and bolts and details to make any of this stuff worthwhile. You know, if, if you think of yourself as being, the, you know, the tip of the spear uh, in all this stuff, you know, you're spearheading the effort, you know, what part of the spear gets broken first? You know, it's not the back shaft, it's... The, you know, it's the point at the end. So, I mean, if you're the one sticking your neck out there, you know, if things went crazy and, and there was violence and danger and you're the one that's out there, you know, defending your house, you're the one that's going to get shot and killed first. So, you know, it's important to, you know, to spread this stuff to the rest of your family, obviously. But, uh, you know, I think a lot of us don't, don't take that seriously enough. Wow, there is a lot of light on my face right now and the cinematographer in me is thinking this is probably a pretty lousy shot right now but i'm done talking anyway you get the point um i think a lot of us really need to try to disseminate this out and you can't wait until the last minute for any of this i mean because it takes a long time to learn all this i'm still learning all this um so i i, I don't think you know you wait for the you know, the alien ship to come in and drop off the zombies that are infected with bird flu <laughs> and then be like, okay, uh, family, let's, uh, you know, let, let's have a little powwow. You know, because it takes a long time to learn all this stuff. Now she's polluting my audio with laughter. I'm this so isn't sorry. a comedy. This I'm, is serious shit. I'm so, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. So what do you think? I, I, do you have the same problem that I have? I, I, is, are all of your preps completely dependent upon you yourself? And if you, you're that, that leg that gets pulled out from the table, does the table fall down? Let me know. Think about it. You know, try to disseminate, share this stuff with as many people as you can. In your family, the people that you trust anyway. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think, and thank you very much for watching.